Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some town in the mid lane because you don't really have to win lane on them. All you gotta do is a little bit of this and everybody goes wild. Check it out. Boom, boom, boom. Nah, just kidding. So town mid, you seriously don't have to win lane though. And you can pretty much just shove and roam. You just need to look ahead of time to what you're going to. It's like when you're driving a car, you gotta look out ahead of you to see what's happening. And uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We have a Nautilus to roam to, we'll probably move for that, unless Scion's proxy, maybe we can move in for him. We do have an Eco Jungle, that's kind of interesting. For our setup, Longsword refills best for roams. Get the refill, abuse in, reset, get refills back. Got Comp, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand. Free Boots, Biscuits, a little bit greedy for sure, because these don't do a whole lot early on, especially the free boots until you have them. Then we have Double AD and armor with ignite flash of course for our build we kind of want to go for either a yomu's rush or for a ravenous ravenous is really good for dumping down waves i like ravenous a lot so uh it's probably going to just be ravenous and a black cleaver it's one of talent's highest win rate builds right now at a 62 percent win rate mid lane we'll get a slight push going on here i don't mind pushing it oh we got first strike we'll check that out he doesn't seem too worried about last hitting because he already gave up a minion to poke me. What a goofball. Oof, am I going to get it? Nice, let's go. I don't even have the attack speed rune. Boom, got the back end of it. The back end is where most of the damage is in that. It's also where the slow is, so landing the back end is pretty important. Talon's level 1 is pretty good since you have, obviously, damage and a slow. And it's not really much of a skill shot either. You need to take advantage of that bit. Boom. Got it. And now we can kind of roam off. You see how far away the wave is? We don't have to go dive anyone or even follow it all the way through, but we can at least kind of just get a ward down, see what's going on. We don't want to get roamed on by supports. Not even close, baby. We dodge his attack. We hit him with our attack. Solid. Ideally, we want to hit him and the minions at the same time. I'll go for another point in uh, rake here for the push down. He is very obsessed with throwing out those shurikens. I think we've missed one CS so far, one or two. I think that's how that works. So we get the minions pushing and we hit him there. He's fighting me on my minion wave. That's not the best idea. So you normally go two points in rake so you can shove down wave typically what you're looking for got the back end of that on him too he's tanking a lot of cs there since he hit me before my CS, cs hit the turret if your minions hit the turret then they'll stop focusing them once your minions make contact with turret they will not hit enemy champion even if they hit you so he made the mistake of hitting me before my minions had collided with turret and he tanked a bunch of range creeps so that's why he's already gone through a potion oh no He's really not too worried about last hitting. He's very obsessed with the first strike usage though. I mean, he, this guy doesn't even have his dash up. Auto Q auto. Nice job, buddy. I'll just reset. Cool. Zed might just try to freeze it. He can do that if he wants to. Ooh, not gonna be able to freeze it like that though, that's for sure. So we do want to go for Ravenous. We'll go ahead and pick up Caulfield's head back to land. Do a little flip flop over the Nexus. Talon has okay base movements to be at 335, nothing crazy. Looks like we missed three melees and one ranged. Let's see if we can get for the cannon, at least the XP. We're tied CS with him, but we're definitely down experience after those echo shenanigans. Okay, we get cannon XP at least. We get range creep XP. Q auto. Auto Q resets a really strong uh, damage output. Auto Q. Got that pushed in. Echo is pretty low. It's pre five minute pre before the five minute mark. You don't really want to stay to break plate. I think Echo might greed out and go for Gromp or something here while he's low. The pre five minute mark, the turret takes highly reduced damage. Oh, he didn't stay. Cool. <clears throat> I'll go for them bot side here. Yeah, they're in trouble. I'm going to smoke them. Smoke him like a dirty doink. Go for the Zyra here. Auto. Q auto. Got Earth Ignite. We need something on the Draven though, my dude. 
Nautilus, a big bag of nothing there. He's out of mana. I don't know if that was a waste of Ignite, but uh, I don't think we need to do that in hindsight. I was a little worried she's going to flash or something. You can use your Q as a dash against enemy champions. That's fine. In terms of a dash, it does less damage as a dash than an auto reset, but against enemy champions, if they are moving away, then... Uh, I wish you would stop soaking XP. Oh, I miss more last hits than I would have liked to there. We have Biscuit. There goes his first strike. If we hit him first, it puts his first strike on a cooldown. We jump over, very cool, Zed. We hit Biscuit, we hit Refill, and we're chilling. Come on, baby. Auto Q, we're chilling. All right, we'll go ahead and hit our other refill. It's usually when you're below half health or ideally as low as possible when you hit a biscuit because it heals you more the more HP you're missing. We'll look, bot side here, I have R, Draven's low. Bot lane is level 4 when mid lane is level 6, so you're typically looking to roam bot lane as mid lane to apply pressure because you have that massive XP discrepancy. Please do your thing. We're going to have to R just to get to this guy. W auto. Auto Q auto. I don't know if Nautilus could have done any less than he actually did there. We'll flash that. E away. Q on to her. <sighs> yeah, Nautilus missing his hook there kind of goofed the play a bit. I'm glad Zed didn't get the gold though, so I don't have to deal with the fed Zed. <sighs> That's brutal. Those hooks are... Very unfortunate. It's okay, though. You got Dragon. That sucks. Dude, no way. Nautilus has two kills. <laughs> no. That's the worst feeling ever when your support's getting the kills, especially in this meta when AD carries the most important role in the game. That's why as mid lane, you play so much around your bot. Hmm. It's a lot of damage. He's barely uh, up in CS. I've been roaming way more than him. Wow, that hits? All right. That's kind of neat. I think I missed all three of these, at least, in terms of last hits. We'll look bot. Free boots coming up soon. We need to get those sooner. Please don't be warded. I don't know. I need Nautilus to land Q and I can for sure gank. Oh no. I'm gonna get snared here, aren't I? Whatever. Gotta get back to that wave. Zed's gonna probably get a plate out of that. Ripperoni, pepperoni. He took turret demolish in what universe? We got at least got XP from uh, the cannon. Cool Nico gank. Not. I think he even saw that with his minion vision. Yeah, this. I don't think this gank's gonna work. Yeah, that gank's not just not gonna work, dude. He knows. He literally knows what's happening. He's pulling all the way back when. Uh, he's. Kind of more fed than I am, honestly. He also has Ocean Dragons. Most broken early game drag for laning. We got an R to get in. And basically zero follow-up whatsoever. That's okay. We get the kill on Draven. He gets a kill on us. Not a great trade for us at all. <sighs> yeah, the fact that it's going to get plates there, not really worth it. We got Ravenous free boots now. We can start to do some stuff. I think we got Draven Flash and Cleanse, which is kind of cool. I'll tell you what, that turret demolish is a smart pick versus Talon. Because when I roam off, he's able to get plates out of it. That seems... I assume he thought about that when he took it. But uh, who knows, maybe he just randomly decided to take that. I don't think that Keystone's going to... Not Keystone, but I don't think that rune's going to help him out too much in the late game, of course. It's not really a late game rune. 
Uh, we get to stack up our early ravenous, get a bunch of extra AD. Doesn't seem to be warded. My bot lane is missing completely. I don't think she saw me. No way, bro. How does she have three plants there, though, for real? Trip dip plants, trip nips. It's kind of gross. Not much I can do about that. He's trying to get me with his first strike. It's such a goofball. He's only gotten 65 gold out of it. He's missed so many minions to poke me instead of last hit as well. Not worth. Is he gonna break my control word or what? Nautilus isn't bothering to clear out that ward. Very cool. Doesn't even have a way of clearing it. Hmm. He just burned his dash. Cool echoes here. I'm such a lucky fella. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Echo actually did most of that damage there. Against their team, we could get away with plated, I think. Since Zed and Draven are both kind of going lethality. Sucks to lose Ravenous, but what am I going to do? Echo likes to play around me. It's his favorite thing. Random dragon start makes sense. I'm dead. Why not start dragon when, when your mid lane's dead? Makes a lot of sense. I guess Caitlyn is an item advantage on Draven, but she's not even out that, that situation. That was a really late smite from both junglers. It was 600 health. And they lose the fight 3v3. That's rough. Draven's not even full item there, and Kate is. We gotta get, get on this guy's head. Oh, uh, who is this? Oh, it's Zed. No way. Eat it, Zed. You rat. You turd liquor. I gotta go push mid now. I'm sure Draven's having fun getting camped by me. I'm losing a lot out of it though. <laughs> Zed's turd demolish and Echo also playing around mid. I wouldn't say Nico's ganked mid. Transforming in front of Zed. That's fine though. You don't really expect ganks his talent mid. You're just really looking to push. Push, stack up our Ravenous and stay alive is the play pattern. The winning formula, if you will. Auto Q auto. Looks like they're kind of coming over here. Talon has a little bit of extra damage against monsters. Hmm, looks like I lose turret here. They have Echo helping to push mid and Zyra pushing me away. Why is that? Ugh, this is gonna be kind of messy. Auto Q auto. That's huge. Echo dying there. Make w on it. Auto Q auto. They do get the turret. I don't know how worth that is for them though. Oh, Zed just gets a dash away. I remember years ago when they decided, you know what? Zed having five seconds to go back to his original R location isn't long enough. Let's make it, I think they made it eight or 10. Basically, if Zed runs away from his R location, there's no way to chase him down unless you have multiple people. And the person who's chasing him has to be faster. Because Zed already has good base movement speed. So you already have to be faster than him, which is rare. And as he moves away, you can boop back to our original location. That's a very, very, very long window. That's why it just comes down to are you faster than him? If you're not, you can't force him to jump back and he just simply walks away. Mm, Draven's kind of beefy. Got Zyra Flash. That's something. I'm kind of low. I don't know if I should really stay over here. <laughs> Getting a lot of bot lane flashes. Hopefully they can do something off of it. Kind of want to take this Nico's jungle, man. She doesn't have much CS. 15 minutes in with, with uh, 
how much she's been farming. Kind of low. I gotta back away from that. He's gonna kill this minion. I don't have to do much here. We have full stack Rav, that's 85 AD. That's big. Is Nico gonna go take my wave? What in the world? Auto Q auto. We do have bonus damage against minions on the rake just barely and on our passive just barely. I don't have much faith in her living there. It was very random. She went to push mid. She's not really ahead. It wasn't really a gank. Zed panicked and ran back. I couldn't even stop him there, really. Nico, what are you doing? Get out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's thinking, bro, why are you thinking about going back in? Like, what? Like, why? Auto Q auto. He's ignited. Down he goes. It made no sense. She's 10 health. Like, Echo could have just smited her if his smite's up and she dies. Zed's R should still be on a cooldown. The stage of the game. Auto Q auto. Get that push. Dude, I'm loving these plants. I'm getting so much HP from all these random plants. Try to splash damage off my Q from the minion onto the Zed to stop his TP. Looks like he actually took TP mid. That's so weird. It seems like he was very determined on kind of countering out our roams with TP. So he could out sustain in lane while simultaneously taking the turret smash. I'm sitting on so much gold here. Please just take dragon, guys. They already have two drags. No one's helping. This is bad. I'm going to queue on him. Get down W and Echo, of course, wins this might fight. I mean, it is a bit 50 50, but it's the second time in a row that he wins it. If they get trapped, so this is going to be one tough game. They have a really, really good comp. We need to spend gold. If I had gold spent, I don't know if I had the opportunity, but there's a good chance I did. If I had spent gold, that might have gone a little bit differently. I'm sitting on so much. We'll push plated here into Black Creaver. Uh, next up on the agenda, honestly, Holebreaker. I could play split heavy with Holebreaker, and none of them will be able to fight me. Not even the uh, Scion. Holebreaker gives you a budge. It more armor and magic resist than any item in the game. Not even close. Plus the 80s, super high. The HP is really high. You can go for Mana Moon on talents. Bad in the early game. Takes a while to scale, so it's kind of hard to justify. We see Echo kind of bot side ish. Draven, two full items. He's just as fed as I am. What is that damage? And they got that dragon. Unbelievable. These Echo Smites have been too too good, too spicy. It kinda hurt. Q auto. It's a lot of damage. We got the Echo Art. Huh. That was a weird choice by Zed. He's about to get plugged. Yeah, that was wild. Zed going in on a Mord like that. He, I guess he thought Zyra did a little bit more than she had done. So now we want to push the wave. There's no reason for me to stay with my teammates here unless we think we can kill the Draven. It's a little bit dicey though. He has a lot of HP from Trinity for us. He's, and he's fed. I mean, he has played it as well. He's just as fed as I am. And if Zyra hits me with the snare, I'm going to die. So it's, it's a little bit dicey to run that. I'm also missing a lot of HP. It's not like I'm full HP doing a limit test play. All right, we got to get out of here. Don't want to overstay our welcome too much. 
Can we kill Zyra with this plant? These plants are really good to abuse. Hmm. In a weird spot, so I could kind of leech around. Just reset, get my health back here. I think this is a hole breaker type of game, though. I'll I'll run Wing Moon Plate. None of them can match me in a split. Absolutely no one. Their comp is very team fight heavy with the Scion and Zyra. They're both relatively immobile. To where I, I would honestly say Draven's immobile as well. Like none of them can just go run up and match a split push. So I, th I think it is the best play for us. For sure. I, th I say we only group if uh, I'm going to ping that out a few times. <laughs> yeah, tell R Draven. He's just going to use this QSS. Probably just R the uh, Scion, honestly. Get full conk stacks on him. They're fighting without me. We'll see how that goes. Oh, Scion's not even there. So I guess it was a closer fight than I realized. I could still kind of get to this fight as well and fast. That's the downside about chasing talent is we can still kind of run the map. Got a Q to get to her. She's dead. Passive's going to burn that. Got a Q to get to him. Get him at the back end of the slope. I'll ignite for it. Auto Q auto. Head still kills him. That's bad. We do have Herald. Only one alive is Scion. No way, I'm eating turret shots here. Dragging up in 30. Auto Q auto. That was bad. I hate it when the jump does that. Sometimes it, you catch a weird angle and it just flips you like in place. As if you'd ever want to do that. <laughs> we just basically jumped in place there. He ca caught it at a really weird angle. Yeah, we need uh, the Mord for sure. Are there any fruits here for me to... Oof, lucky ducky. When I say lucky ducky, I mean unlucky. <laughs> that goes there. We need to fight it. I mean, this is Drag Soul. If we give... It's probably GG's. Mord has R. He's really fed. Zed's not going to be there for a while. Echo's basically doing whatever he wants. More TPs eight seconds late, so we didn't really get the fountain speed up. I have zero faith in Nico to smite this. We'll see how this fight goes. Oh, oh no! My goodness! I gotta get to this fight, right? Or do I just go mid or top? Saya not being to that fight's pretty bad for them. He should have just grouped for it. Their team was still on, I'd say, an advantage compared to us. Nico's not even there, so they, Zed can like smite for that. I wanted it to, it to hit me so that turret will focus him. I do have Black Cleaver. His Sunfire is doing a lot of damage though. Auto, Q, auto. It's a good thing I have some form of life still. Without the life still, this would probably not work very well. With the life still plus... Uh... Don't give him a plated. Like, why? He just gave him a plated for no reason. He ran up. <laughs> that made no sense. Nautilus even put his aftershock on a cooldown. <laughs> what? Because he didn't want him to have the Grom. I don't think that really matters, though. I haven't finished my hole breaker yet, so I'm not that strong. I'm also low health, so Echo can tap me. Nautilus uses Q, so he can't CC the Echo. Boop. I kind of had to do that. This this is not going to be good. Oh, Nico caught it. Let's go. That's huge. All right, good job, Nico. All those previous... Unlucky smites. She got the one that counted there. Time for a hole breaker to round off what we have going here. I'd say Surled or Sterics. You know, I'm down for Sterics. 
gonna make us unkillable. I mean, with the whole breaker, we can absolutely gut Scion. Even if he's full mana, he's gonna get wrecked. The only champion you can't really solo, or the main champions that come to mind on town that you wouldn't even want to try on would be Anasis and um, kind of Jax as well, especially if Jax is ahead of you. That Nasus is a, a big one though, for sure. This makes it to where your minion's so tanky that it can take turret shots like their minion autos. Minion autos do nothing to it. And it makes us super tanky too. We're getting extra 51 armor, 51 magic resist, which essentially completely negates things like sword shoes, flat penetrations, and highly mitigates turret damage. And even if you don't count boarding party, so you're, if you have a teammate close to you, it doesn't work. But even if you don't count boarding party, the item's still like nasty good. And look, he's going to have trouble killing my cannons. Why? Because they're hecka tanky, dude. Like, I can tank this. Like, what are you going to do? I have Conqueror. I have double cannon. How is he going to kill them? I don't know. I have boarding party. I mean, he is doing some damage to me. I can't get to him, though, because the turret. It's not really him. It's more of the turret right now. Look at that healing. He's taking more damage than I am. Beautiful. Love the love the whole break. Super underutilized item for mobile kind of split pushy champs. Not for range champs. I think it's nerfed on range these days. They didn't used to be though. At one point, hold breaker was <laughs> probably the strongest item in the game. Like Vayne top or Triss top would run it. QR. Down goes Draven. WQ. Oh, I gotta jump over that. I just had to engage. I wasn't gonna be able to live. It looks like more did end up dying. Zyra lived with one auto. Where the hell? Me dying there was bad. It would have probably been better if Nautilus wasn't there. That way I would have had the 59 armor, 59 magic resist. It is what it is though. I shouldn't have gone in. Echo's doing a lot of damage. It's kind of crazy. His build isn't that strong. It's just lich basically. Even his rocket belt's done a lot of damage. It's done a considerable amount. 852 for rocket belt's pretty high. Oh, drag coming up. 51. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, th 3. Nice. Do I want to get magic resist? Not really. Do not really want to do that. I kind of have to though, right? I'll round off build with Spear of Shoujin or Surled is fine. Either or. Uh, Caitlyn played that pretty dang clean. We get drag now. That's huge. I feel like I have to go for Ma, the Echo, and uh, the uh, Zyra. I got to get on top of this guy. We get the back end slow on the rake. Q to close distance. I'm only going to use Q's as a dash here since he's running away. That doesn't cancel his R. His R doesn't have a backwards hitbox. A lot of R's do, like a Warwick R, like a Gragas dash. Apparently Scion doesn't, dude. Because that was right on him. Boop. Oh, it's bad. I don't know why Nautilus saved his R for next game. He really should have used it way sooner on the Echo. Echo did that much damage, bro. I have Ma. He did that much damage. It's incredible. It might be it, though. They, they chose to fight when Scion couldn't be there because he was low. And I think Zed or somebody was spawning. Wow, Moore didn't do much damage. <laughs> A little surprised how little damage Moore did there. Good Nico Zanius. Zed played himself. Big wave coming in bot side. I'm going to get back to the split of Rooney here. In these fights, I'd be surviving so much better if I had my uh, extra 59 armor and magic resist. Can't afford anything good here. Echo's so freaking strong, man. 
It's weird too, because his build, no mesh. He doesn't even have uh, like sorcery tree. I'm gonna run top, I can't get to Mord in time. Auto Q auto. Need to stay away from these weird all in fights. That's where Echo's shining a lot. He's gonna get his grasp and some. Wow, that was a fast one. He's getting a lot of grasps off me here. I think Echo's coming as well, so I gotta be a little careful. I can't tell. So yeah, Echo is kind of in the general area. The general area. We'll see where Scion's at. Can punish him. Whew, he's so greedy. He's gonna try to get around me here. You got nowhere to go, buddy. He's gonna get a bunch of hearts still out of this. That's so annoying. More blocks though. Clean the W. He's why is he so quick? Because he does have force of nature. This guy is hauling, bro. I got perma slows on him. Maybe I do need Surls. Surls. He's actually so friggin' fast. It's not even that, oh, he's tanky. It's like, he's actually just getting away from me. Like, this is ridiculous, for real. I'm actually gonna die here. <laughs> That's outrageous. I need Searle to find I'm gonna kill Scion, bro. Even with Black Cleaver, it's just not happening. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha, buddy. Rest in pepperonis. He's going for it. He's trying to get as many plated as he can. Who's up? Nobody's up. They just lose here. We'll take it. Tough win at the end of the day, though. Their mid lane didn't do that much. It's basically just echo carrying. That was their main kind of driving force. Oof. Draven with the rage quit there at the end. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. In hindsight, probably should have picked up Surlds. I don't think Ma pulled much weight. So we got the runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, I'm surprised we had the most in the game. I was dying so much, and Mordor was constantly shutting down the Scion. Somehow we ended up edging him out. For damage taken, pretty much the same as everybody else. A little bit higher. And for self mitigated, not bad actually. Number like four decent enough and for runes high value all in all talent mid he's a good experience regardless of what the matchup is you end up shoving roaming very consistent playthrough experience regardless of uh the matchup for the most part if you guys enjoyed this talent video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time